A staggered up amp amplifier circuit is discussed in this example. We want to find the output voltage Vout as a function of the applied input voltage. Circuit is implemented with two operational amplifiers or up amp as you can see and a number of resistors including one potentiometer or variable resistor that can be either a digitally controlled or analog just potentiometer. So in order to quickly find the output voltage as a function of input voltage, let's make the assumption that both op amps, op amp 1 and op amp 2, are properly biased. For example, if it is a dual supply design, then we have the positive and negative supply voltages applied for the op amps. And also, you can notice that at the output of op amp 1, the voltage VO1, the connection at the output is VO resistor or VO potentiometer R1 to the inverting terminal indicating a proper negative feedback for op amp number one that is in basically a non-inverting amplifier topology for op amp two the same thing happens at the output we have v out two which is the output final output voltage v out but we can see that the output of op amp two via resistor r3 is connected back to the negative or inverting input terminal indicating negative feedback so in, in conclusion, both op amps are properly biased and then they are with negative feedback, so therefore I can make the assumption that both op amps are operating in linear region, so in linear regions, not saturated, uh, mainly because the negative feedback is in place, and as a result that means I can assume virtual short is in place for op amps which means the voltage at the positive terminal should be equal to the voltage at the negative terminal for each op amp. So V in is applied at the positive terminal here for op amp 1, therefore V in has to be present at this node, which is the negative terminal for op amp 1. Therefore, we can find the current I1 very quickly, which is I1 equal to the voltage drop across R2, which is simply V in, so V in divided by R2, and then this current can only flow through R1. There is no other route for this current because the input impedance of the input terminal of ideal op amp is practically infinite. So there is no current uh, going through the input terminal. So a KCL here or Kirchhoff current law indicates that the incoming current should be equal to outgoing current. Okay, so what's the benefit knowing that I1 is flowing through this series of R1 potentiometer and R2 resistor? I can easily find the output voltage V out uh, knowing the voltage drop across the series of R1 and R2. So that will be as easy as just saying voltage at the output of op amp 1 is I1, the current, times the series of potentiometer R1 and the resistor R2. Substituting for I1 via this earlier equation, so we get therefore uh, R1 plus R2 divided by the denominator R2 times Vn, which then we get the known formula for the non-inverting amplifier that V out 1 is equal to 1 plus R2, R1 over R2 times V in into the circuit. So that's the intermediate voltage at the output of op amp 1. So then in order to get to V out 2, the quickest way would be observing what is happening across resistor R4. R4. So we have V in at the positive terminal of op amp 2 because of again virtual short uh, enforced by negative feedback for op amp number 2. V in should be also at this negative terminal of op amp 2 and therefore we have the voltages at the two terminals of the resistor R4. So again I'm gonna uh, write that this current I2 is easy to compute is basically the voltage drop across R4 which is V in on one side and then minus V out 1 on the other side divide by the value of resistor R4, so R4. Now I am going to substitute for V out 1 from equation 1 that we just found, so 1 uh, V in minus, so I'm going to substitute this value for V out 1, so it becomes 1 plus R1 over R2 times V out, V in, and then divide by R4. So therefore we can see that 
these two cancel out and as a result we get minus R1 over R2 R4 times Vn and that's equation number 2 for I, I2. The same reason that I explained er earlier because no current can come in or go out of the enter or exit the input terminal of ideal up and because of practically infinite impedance this I2 can only when we write a KCL or Kirchhoff current law here the incoming current should be equal to outgoing current so this I2 has to flow through R3 as well and uh, as a result uh, the V out 2 is simply I mean the basic one would be just say that here is V in and then we have extra voltage drop across R3 so effectively a KVL across V in and R3 will give us the V out too quickly so I am going to write a simple KVL now so if I do that I can say okay um, writing a KVL so uh, f for the second stage basically for second stage here uh, that would be saying the V out 2 or V out is the same as V out 2 is equal to the sum of V in so the voltage at this node and then the voltage drop across R3 so plus VR3 V in is known and uh, VR3 is simply I2 the current that we just found times the resistor R3 and I'm going to use equation 2 that defines R2 as a function of Vn so substituting for I2 from equation 2 we get Vn and then plus R3 times minus R1 divided by R2 R4 times Vn so in final conclusion we get V out equal to therefore so if you take a look at this one I can factor out Vn and I have 1 minus R1 R3 divided by R2 R4 times Vn so in a summary that's how output voltage is related to input or basically we can write the voltage gain of uh, this uh, staggered op amp amplifier is simply V out over V in which is 1 minus R1 R3 divided by R2 R4 so uh, it has a good similarity I mean a nice similarity to what we used to see uh, from an inver from a non-inverting amplifier for example as you can see here except that instead of a positive sign uh, we have a negative sign here so uh, that's an interesting realization and then uh, also notice that again R1 is a potentiometer resistor so we can have a co extra control here we can adjust the R1 value uh, so that we can gen change the gain of course it's possible to have R3 instead of R1 as the potentiometer so there are many design variants for this I hope this example is helpful in terms of illustrating one simple realization of a, a dual stage op amp amplifier with uh, some extra degree of freedom thanks for watching